Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today, how have you been? On today's video, we are going to look at um, vertical exaggeration on sofa. So let's try to get a 3D surface. So let's go to 3D surface. Then we are working on a folder called Contours. Let's open that one, that grid data. Good. So we have what? We have a 3D surface, right? Good. Now, what is actually vertical um, exaggeration in so far? It refers to the scaling of the vertical axis relative to the horizontal axis. In that what? The vertical axis is either stretched or compressed, right? Good. Um, comparison what to the horizontal scale, right? Good. So now, let's duplicate this map. So let's come down to this map. Let's right click and then let's say duplicate, right? Good. So we have two maps that are representing the same terrain and we want to use them side by side as we would as we perform this vertical exaggeration now they are actually the same representation or they are actually representation of the same terrain right good now in 3d so we have 3d surfaces so for us to experience or for us to appreciate the vertical exaggeration let's click on the map and then let's come down to what scale right good now as we've told you it's actually either the compressing or the stretching of what the vertical scale relative to what to the horizontal scale. So there are different reasons why you would want to um, use vertical exaggeration. You can either want to what um, highlight um, landforms, or maybe you want to have um, a better visualization of what your elevation difference is. Right. Good. So now let's get to the main work. So this map is actually this, and then this other map is the second one. Right. Good. So now. Let's start with this first map. Let's come down to the Z scale. So you ensure that you click on scale and let's increase this value. So as we keep increasing it, you can see visually how what how the the elevation is being highlighted compared to its other counterpart here. Right now, this is the other map. Let's um, just click on this map so we can get to what to the Z scale. Let's also increase it to some extent. So you can now see that you can have the same terrain represented differently, right? Good. Due to how what the let's say how loud should we call it loud? How you would have compressed or what stretched what the the vertical component of the topo map or maybe of any other map that has to do with what your elevation data, right? Good. So let's um, still play around with what the um, the exaggeration. Let's click on map as this first one. So if you keep increasing it, you will see side by side how the terrain is being highlighted. So as we told you, one of the reasons is what to highlight landforms. So by looking at this side of the map or by looking at this side by this side of the terrain, you will see that maybe this side is actually higher than this side, and then maybe there is maybe a valley or something. Maybe there is. A dump here and maybe this place is the actual terrain however this same elongated um, surfaces can still be compressed so let's use this second map for the compressing so let's bring this down to let's say sorry we are reducing it we are not increasing it. so now let's bring it down to almost a flat terrain so you can now see that something that was maybe a terrain that was exaggerated to this point has been compressed to this point and they are all what the same representation they are representations of the same terrain these both 3d depictions are representation of what the same terrain now it is worth noting that as we play around with this um, exaggeration or as we play around with this the z scale it does not affect what our um, elevation data so it is important to note that while the vertical exaggeration can enhance the visual impact of a map it does not alter the actual what elevation data it's a technique used to emphasize certain aspect of the terrain for what for visualization purpose right good so it is crucial to strike a balance between visual enhancement and maintaining what accurate representation of the terrain because there definitely is a distortion by presenting this as the representation of the terrain and presenting this as what the representation of the terrain that's why you need to strike a balance in terms of what the scale now you don't have something that looks so elongated and you don't have something that looks so what stretched of what a relatively undulating terrain so it is very important to note that while you want to use it to highlight some landforms while you want to have what your maybe some elevation data 
or let's say elevation difference is well visualized it is important to know that you should be careful not to have a too high vertical scale or maybe a too low vertical scale as we have in these two um, representations or in these two 3d representations of the same terrain as um, we have seen on so far so we believe that um, we've provided solution to this particular solving problem on how you can use um, your 3d surface in so far to either um, elongate or compress the 3d representations of the same terrain right good so we are going to see you on our next video if you've not subscribed to the channel you can encourage us by subscribing and if you are returning you are thanks for always and um, checking up on us ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye